Well, hi, 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 hi. Welcome back to 15 Days of Mogu Vlogmas Day 5. Guys, we're get, we're doing it. We are grinding through. So as you if you can see back here, I am standing in front of Able Sisters and uh, don't hate me, but I may have changed the whole area that we decorated in the last video. Um, I just came to the conclusion that it's just not, it wasn't light enough, bright enough. And also I just feel like, felt like there weren't enough clothes, clothes items. So yeah, I basically completely changed it. And then I did the decorating around the outside of it um for the walkway up to about this point here um i'm going to probably start trying to decorate more at night with you guys for this island just because the dream address is going to be at night and so i don't have to constantly go back and change things up when like i realize it's not bright enough so yeah there's that and then yeah i like that better and then um I did a thing, don't be shocked, but I got my two squirrels. We have Pecan and Hazel now, so now we have our squirrel neighborhood with Pecan, Hazel, and Poppy, and I believe that's the area I'm going to work on today. I'm going to work on doing the community flower garden in between the houses and kind of just decorating their houses in general, but also if you can tell, down by where the... Um, Christmas market is going to be. I have solved my incline problem. I will show you guys exactly what I mean by that. This is the first incline and I wanted one here. Well, I connected the cliffs. So we, I think this meet Santa cliff, it's still going to be meet Santa. So this is going to still be meet Santa, but I think I'm going to extend the cliff if not all the way to the back then like maybe i'll leave like that one square in the top right maybe i'll leave that on the bottom level but the reason why i did that is is because in the last episode i said that i didn't i wasn't using the third cliff that often and so i need more third cliff on this map this map is very bare if you will so yeah i'm gonna build all of that up and then I want the ice skating rink. I think I want it to be on the third level. Or maybe I'll put it on the first level in the back. Because I've decided what I want to do with my house. I want to make my house a toy factory. Um, so I, I went and got items for that. Still haven't started on the winter market. That's no surprise. I'm looking for like a certain, like a certain inspiration picture. And it's one of those things of you'll know it when you see it. And I haven't seen it yet. So I'm not going to rush that process. But yeah, today I think I'm just going to work on uh, the squirrel neighborhood and community garden what to okay yeah i have everything i need in my pockets i believe so we're just gonna start what i think i so what i've been debating for this is whether or not i should um put a water piece in here i'm not sure like i i really don't know that's the one thing that I'm struggling with I'm wondering if I should just like because if I do I don't want to just have like a little waterfall I want to have like a little lake thing here but this cliff isn't that big to warrant that but we'll just let's just see because honestly I'm a fan of the idea of water takes up space but this area here doesn't seem big enough to even have like a small piece of water on it. So maybe I'll do a little something like this. Hold on here. You know if this water tool would like not. <laughs> All right. Yeah, something like this maybe. 
And then can I do something like this? And then, yeah, maybe something like that. I don't know. And then let me see. So something small, not like anything too extravagant, just like a little, hey, I'm here too. Maybe not this. That's gonna bug me that that can't connect, so I might pull that back up. Uh, let me see here. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm actually like a really bad terraformer in general, but water terraforming, always leaves me stumped. Is this turning into a heart pond? Guys, I swear I didn't plan this. Yeah, something like that'll do. Yeah, that's 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 fine. That'll do just fine. Alrighty. Let's get some items out. I think it'll help me be more prepared if I the way that helps me do a build well is um when I kind of just grab a whole bunch of items and put in my pocket I usually try to get like one of each thing a whole bunch of different things and then I can kind of just build mindlessly based off what's in my pocket that's a, a good good advice in my opinion for someone who doesn't who is constantly like going back and forth with a build um i think i will keep all of these things out all right let's first things first get rid of this um rock that is on my turf so for the community garden it's gonna be more of a community flower garden than a um than a what am I trying to say right now? It's gonna be more of a flower garden than it is than it's gonna be um like a garden like like a what is what do you call that? like a farm like you know with like so i'm gonna use flowers and not crops it's what i'm trying to say okay um so what i think i need to do is have so this is gonna be like the base of it where this greenhouse box here but i need to figure out where i want it to start and like if i want this to be in the middle or not because I need a pack walkway, which I should actually, I can do right now. Let me lay down a little path. Um, another way, another editing tip from me, um, from me personally, in no way does it need to be followed, but is um, if you want, lay down your pathing first, because then you'll know like where to fill things in. For me personally, it just makes it easier. Because I'll know, like, since I have my pathway here. Yeah, like that. Like, so now I know, like, this can start here. Um, but I do want to put path under this as well. So, let me, so yeah, this is going to be the base of it. And then uh, let me close this path off because I want to put down some in-game dirt. Um, 
I want to put down some in-game dirt so that I can, I don't know, it'll just make it feel more organized. Do I have, oh, I do have both dirt paths. All right. So I think I want, rather than going in a line this way, I think I'm going to have a go in a line downwards. So we'll do like a, maybe like a three by three. Something simple, guys. Something simple. Sometimes in order to not like stress yourself out, you don't have to think so hard about things, you know? And then I know like, like for example, for me, it can get overwhelming when you think like, oh, blank. Whoever so-and-so has like such an amazing amazing island. Why doesn't mine look like that? Like guys everyone's island is amazing You just have to have confidence in yourself. Can I fit this? So my pockets are quite full right now Okay, um So we're gonna do something like that and then find a way to like Color code so like things don't end up you know like overlapping should i say but yeah so something like this something small like this and then what i can do is like set items like for example i have i just saw it flower beds so maybe i could put a few flower beds on the edge so i can grab some more of those and so that's how I build. I'll literally grab one of each thing that I think I might use on this build. Uh, well, on the build I'm doing. And then I'll like set it down and then I'll look at it and I'm like, oh, okay, yeah, I think I like this to go with this build. And if I need more, I'll grab more. And there are a lot of things that like I did grab or I end up grabbing that I don't end up using. But yeah, it's just trial and error don't rush it don't rush it flower bed yeah see that looks doesn't look too bad so have something like that just you know and just keep tossing things until you like it like for example, I'm gonna put my barrel here, not here. Just a little build. This is how you do it, guys. Don't think too hard. I know I said that in the last build, but I ended up overthinking and that's why I changed literally everything. But like, it's not necessary. You're doing a great job if you needed to hear that today. I will be the one to tell you, you are doing a great job. Your island is amazing. Do not worry. I promise you, don't worry. I have a lot of stuff. Okay. Um, I'm gonna put like a tree or two back here. Sorry, another thing I do is I like, before I even put things down, well, I shouldn't say before I put things down. Let me go up, grab some more flowers to fill this up. But before I put things down, like as I'm like doing a build, I'm also like thinking as I'm doing. So like I end up, oh, I didn't even mean to pick that up right now. So I end up like, I'll put something down and then I'm like planning out my next move, but not actually doing it. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. I, I'm a weird builder. Like I'm so complicated. It's not even funny. So I want to grab one of each flower that I'm using on this island, but like set it in a way so that nothing mixes weirdly. So how are you guys doing? Um, I'm feeling a lot better about this series than I, than I was in that last episode. I felt like I was a bit of a Debbie Downer, maybe not that much, but I don't know, just me talking about like my burnout and stuff. But 
I got back in the groove like with getting my villagers and I also I forgot to mention but I think I've decided to keep bow because the whole process of kicking out a villager is such a hassle to me like I'm I actually don't enjoy that um I, I really don't I'm not like I time travel to get where I need to go but the process of time traveling I don't like because I'm lazy and it takes a lot of work to me so <laughs> so yeah I think I'm gonna keep bow which means if I just open my map up really quick while I'm rambling um this is actually our final villager lineup um let me know what you guys think let me know who you would think would have been a better choice I mean I will hear your suggestion but I will not take it because I'm tired of villager hunting but yes we have this is our mogu's final lineup so we have Rudy, Pecan, Hazel, Bo, Apple, then we got Anakati, Bree, Poppy, Murphy, my baby, and Henry. I think I have quite the lineup. I am very fond of all fond of all of these villagers. If I do say so myself. Alrighty. Don't ask me why I'm not running. Okay, we need to think very hard about this. Do I have another red flower? Yes, so we have, this is red. Think carefully, think carefully. And so I'm gonna put my black windflower here. I mean, Cosmos. And then here, I'm gonna go green mum or would it be smarter to put green mum in the middle hold on let me think about this let me think about this in a way that makes sense okay green mum red cosmos And then here we will do red pansy. Then here we will do red lily. I'm vibing with that. And then on this end we will do white windflower, which means what do we do? I think I'm gonna go black cosmo white wind flower cross section. I think that would be a good idea. Which means I have to go get flowers again. I don't know why I have my flowers spread out all around my beaches, which is this just not a good idea. So I just remember I recall last episode I was saying how it was gonna be such a short one, but it actually be ended up being the second longest of the series so far. So um yeah don't know how that happened i'm sorry if that one's kind of boring um if i am to get out a video every day for this series i kind of just have to go with the flow and and things just have to end up how they end up because if i try to do something extravagant every episode i will i will not finish this series I t i'm telling you this now I'm already recording this like way late in the date that day than I usually do for this series. I was just like dreading recording this video, but I think we're doing fine. We are doing just fine. Actually, you know what I'm gonna do back here? Instead of a black cosmos, is that what that is? I'm gonna plant a glowing moss. Just just for the, the funsies, you know, just for a little yes, that, that'll do. That's cute. Um and then let's build a little fence in front of it. Something like that. And then we will do, let me get something to put on these, the barrel. Okay, I just had like an even better idea. 
but it's gonna take me forever to find these things that I just picked up. Oh Lord, okay. We're gonna put this little planter here, this little starter plant. How cute is that? Oh my gosh, I'm dying. That is adorable. And then I'm gonna put a lantern up here. Add a little bit of light in this area, okay. And then I am gonna pick this up. Oh, I picked up the wrong flower. Love that for me. So, okay, I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna grab this. I'm gonna grab this. I'm gonna put this here, right? Are you listening to me? We're gonna do this, right? And then I'm gonna go in here and grab this. And then stay with me now. I'm gonna put this here. Yes, alrighty. Yes, we love that. We love variety. That's so stinking cute. Alrighty, okay. Now, I need to... Let me move this. Right here at the base of this pond, I think I'm gonna set a well down. set our well down if I can find it oh well where did my little well go there it is yes a brick well how cute is this well okay the only thing about the wells the only thing is the fact that you can't get them center but that's all right because I will put a tin bucket oh I don't like that you can't get that closer okay I will set a tin bucket down as well as a wooden bucket mm -hmm. and then here We are gonna do a water pump, I think. And, oh yeah, here we go. Water pump. Mm-hmm. And then slightly sticking out here I'm going to do stacked bags if I could ever find them yeah some stacked bags and then what else do I have let's do some barrels here some of these barrels mm -hmm. and then some more here and then I'm gonna do a little Having here. and things but yeah so 
do something like that. Maybe have it come out one more. And then I'm gonna lay my pathing from one area to the to the other, which um is gonna take a while. So maybe I'll do it this way and just speed it up. Alrighty, finally. That took so freaking long. Okay, so we have our pathing for the most part. Now I can start laying things down. Um, these items are just in my way right now. Okay, let me... Sometimes I wish I had another like major code on this <laughs> use that I like that I'm using on this island, but sadly we do not. There's only two. There was another one I was interested in getting, but I didn't know if like I would need all my design slots or not. So what I'm gonna do actually it might be better to put it back here. I was going to put the silo here. Let me just see what that looks like. Yeah, I'm thinking maybe it'll be better to put it over there. Because it's like very bulky and in the way. So it might be better to put it on this cliff here. I like that idea better. Alrighty, silo secure. Um, I'm gonna need to start putting some some light stuff here because I cannot. It's still so dark. What else do we have here? shrub or two or three or four. Oh, and a tree all right we're gonna plant a tree like right here yes mm -hmm. nice Okay, tree secure. Then I'm gonna do... We're gonna go for a shrub. Shrub, shrub, shrubby. Little shrubby, shrub, shrub. Maybe another shrub there, maybe. We 
think I'm gonna do a baby tree here. Maybe. Baby tree. Mm. I need, okay, we need light. So these are out of my way. I'm going to set them over here for now. Okay, I should go for a tree here. But which one is the question? Festive tree it is. Yes, Merry Christmas to me. All right. What else do we have? Maybe we can have a reindeer peeking back here. I have to customize it. Yes, I like that. And then I can put maybe a present down at the foot of it. See, and this is what I mean by decorating at night because you can just see how much light you're lacking in an area, which is very helpful. I adore that. That looks great. Okay. Yes, this is coming along. Maybe I can plant, or actually not plant. I wanna put something else with light here. So we're gonna put a, maybe a mush log. Yeah, we'll do a mush log and set And then here I'm going to do another wooden box, if I can fit it, yes, with another table lamp on it. And the red variety, yes, lovely, lovely. That's great, like that's just so great. And then. I'm going to pop a weed here. I don't know if you can tell, but I'm stuck. And that's okay. Um, I'm thinking... I don't want to say that's it for today's video, but I'm thinking that might be it for today's video just because I don't want to start like putting things and like hating it and like, you know, okay, let me, I'm gonna set this here though, because I think that could be okay. Yeah. And then put something of the sorts like a garden wagon, maybe? Mm. 
This is bugging. <laughs> okay. Um, we're just gonna plant a flower. When in doubt, plant a flower. Honestly. Guys, help. I think I'm gonna have to come back to this. Yeah. I think I'm gonna have to call this an episode, guys. Um, because I'm stumped right now. Like I said, that's fine as well. Don't just don't overwhelm yourself. Um, that's a nice background picture, but thank you guys for joining me on this in this video in today's episode, episode five of 15 days of mogu we are getting there guys we're getting there the ideas are there um we just like i said in the last video we just have to execute um i hope you guys stick around to see the final result and i will see you tomorrow in episode six adios